Dude, this is time to pee. Pika, 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 what's wrong? Pika, 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 there, there. We all know that Robin Williams is one of our favorite comedy actors, and how sudden his and unexpected his death was. Pika. So now that you've brought our attention to the video, do you have any idea of how to commemorate him? Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Hey, that's a great idea. You know, after all, The Legend of Zelda was one of his f absolute most favorite video game series ever. And so, Pikachu, where should we? What game should we start with? Pika, Pika, Pikachu. Although the original Zelda was the game that got him hooked, and it was the game that he named his daughter after. Sadly, I do not have an NES with me, nor do I have access to my NES games. Although I have that Retro Duo over there, it is unclear whether or not it works with NES or SNES games. And I don't feel like experimenting right here on video, and I don't really like Virtual Console or emulators. Although Virtual Console is fine, I mainly only use it if it's a rare game to find in real life. Say, um... So, Pikachu, what game should we start with? Pika, Pika, Pikachu! Pika... P... 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 Ka! P... Pika... P... Ka... P... So, we're going to start with Link's Awakening. Okay, so, okay, Pikachu, these are the games that I have access at this point. Pika. So, if you had to choose, which one would it be? Pika, 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 Pika. Four swords, but I don't have four other people to play it with, nor do I have four link cables, nor do I have four systems. I don't think it'll work on with it. So, Link's Awakening then. Pika, 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 pika. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's right, it also has Link to the Past, doesn't it? Pika, pika. So, we're gonna kick Zelda Week off with Link to the Past, is that right? Pika, pika, pika. Thanks for your help, Pikachu. Now return. Anyway, as Pikachu said, we're going to start Zelda Week off, and Robin Williams, this is for you. This whole week video series is for you. We're going to start off reviewing Four Swords, or, or in the case that I like it, we're going to review A Link to the Past on the Game Boy Advance. I always kind of like this game. Now, Link to the Past first came out on the Super Nintendo in 1991. Four Swords came out in 2002. And it has even has a cool remix of the original theme. And I hope I don't get copyright barred for this.
No, cool remix, right? And now we're going to review A Link to the Past, because I don't have four friends and four systems, or and four link cables. It's a pretty in-depth game. I had just beaten the first boss, which is in the east. What the? What the? I thought I already got the thing. Apparently not. Anyway, it's it's a very similar port to the Super Nintendo version. And so, the controls aren't intuitive. It's a pretty adaptive port. I've never played the Super Nintendo version, so I don't really know how to compare it, but it's pretty similar. My history with this game probably dates back to around the time when it came out. I, well, I got it from my cousin Matt. My cousin Matt lent this to me, and so Isaac has also played on it. My Uncle Isaac has also played on it a little. And apparently I completed a game, a, a completed a stage that I could have sworn that I completed. But for some reason the old man is still requesting me to go to the East Palace, and this is the East Palace. You pull up Matt's... Wait, I already got the medallion. What is, what is he up, what is he all about? That's odd. Anyway, this game is loaded with side quests. You know how in later Zelda games you had a post, you could buy potions, and it came with the bottle? Well, here, you have to look for your own bottle. There's always something there, and there's an alternate world that I can access, you know, the Dark World, and I'm pretty sure every Zelda fan would know that. Because I haven't gotten to that part yet, I can't really show you what it looks like yet. I would show you a boss battle, but again, I don't have the technology to jump cut and things. And the graphics are pretty good. They look almost exactly like the Super Nintendo version. Again, I don't know because I haven't played the Super Nintendo version. But if you do think that this does look like the Super Nintendo version, please tell me in the comments. And I don't really know where to get bottles, and this game, it's one thing about this game, it always finds new ways to puzzle and challenge you. Although it's more on a linear track rather than the original Zelda's non-linear. Hey! And also, the storyline in this game is very unique. In this storyline, Link has been framed for kidnapping Zelda and by Ganon of all people. So the storyline is also pretty unique, and there's also something funny that happens in the Kakariko Village, or whatever it's called in this game. It uses the same use, it uses the same music track. So I'm just gonna call it Kakariko Village. Okay. Anyway, it's pretty well adapted from the original Super Nintendo version. And I recommend you get this. If you don't like emulators like me, I recommend you do get this. Or, if you have four of your friends, you can also play Four Swords. But even if you don't have Four Swords, you can always have fun playing A Link to the Past on your Game Boy Advance. And I definitely do recommend it, even if you don't have four Link Cables, I recommend it. Because you can also play Link a nice rendition of Link to the Past for the Game Boy Advance. And so this is Tonstead 39, oh, but this is Tonstead 39 almost signing off. Those enemy things, those are Hylian soldiers trying to capture your... 
trying to hunt for your bounty or whatever. That over there was a side quest that I already completed, which there is a lot of in this game. This is the Kakariko Village, and I don't know if it's going to happen this time, but sometimes you may end up summoning soldiers. Oh, good. Yep, it happened. It happened. Oof, the music, it makes it sound like this is a boss battle or something. Oh, I'll take one. Oh, yes. Yes. So it turns out I didn't need to do a side quest after all. So, like the original Zelda, it does have various ways of puzzling you and challenging you. And if you can't, if you don't have four friends or four, if you don't have four friends to play with, four systems, four link cables, meaning you can't play four swords. Hey, hey, you can also play Link to the Past, which is what I'm doing right now. And this is Tonstad 39 signing out in the Lost Woods. I swear, the more I explore, the longer this video will get. But I'm trying to keep it under the 15 minute limit. Yes, that rule still applies to small or unpartnered channels. Hey, I want that sword! Okay, now this is Tonstead39 signing off.